Hello guys, if everything is okay, we should be live and it's a little bit again an unexpected live stream since I am preparing now for the last edit or the last part, last movement of the Pach Partitas, the Jeek of the PWV830 uh, to be edited. I thought, well, this is a symbolic moment and why not do it together with you in the same way that we did um, a few days ago. So let's do that and I will take my time. We will take our time for the edit here because the uh, jig is a very complicated piece. And as you can see, I have should check now um, quite some footage. Go to Samplitude here. Let's just cut this for a moment. Let's see how many minutes this these are. 16 and a half. So we have to go through the, everything. And that's quite some. Um, that's not that's not a little. I mean, that, that's a very big edit. Hopefully it goes better than the Sarabande this week. <laughs> I'm just checking now the live stream here on my desktop. No, I might on my um, laptop if everything is all right. Go to the live control room and then see myself on the watch page. If that's okay, then we are good to go. Normally a live stream is a little bit more prepared. So this was all last minute. So I have to check if things go okay. You will hear some domestical sounds because uh, I'm just working on our desk there and actually Evelyn is watching a movie and Sophia is somewhere in the house so that's something I don't know she can, but that's the nature of so of these live streams um, just checking it's very slow here but I suppose it's okay let's see the dashboard so I'm sorry for the technical startup here okay there is it some people give some minutes to youtube to send the video out so if you have something to write don't hesitate to write it in the chat anya is also in the chat maybe not always but uh, from time to time and it's actually also popping up on screen for one way or another this laptop is not responding i just reboot that okay it's just rebooting now so this Bach project for you if you are new here to the channel or missed the January um, recording sessions of the partitas I have dedicated the whole month of January to re-recording the partitas you will probably know that I had done I had recorded those uh, pieces already on YouTube some going back even a few years now but youtube is my kind of laboratory and i like to experiment i give my best shot i really try it out and then those few pieces go in a kind of um, think tank it's i know it's bad english but um you know what i mean and then i re-record them and as i did with the partitas they will all record it on analog tape on the studio tape recorder Actually, you can go to my channel and look to the playlist of the Bach Partitas recording January, February 2017. You will easily find them and all sessions were live streamed as well. So um, with two, uh, two cameras, in fact, so you can see Anya at our studio tape recorder um, managing everything as she does always. So there's my laptop back. See if that's working now because I want to make sure that I don't miss anything here. If you would ask me something or just want to chat a little bit, we have some time. And um, this will be a session of probably one hour, one and a half hour. So, or maybe it's very, very easily. And then like the, the Sarabonde was really difficult because we missed, I missed one bridge and I fixed it. I can show you at the end if you would like me to show you. I fixed it, so it's all, it's all okay. Uh, now I go here on my laptop to live stream and again normally that pops up so easily and so quick and now it doesn't want to. anyway 
Oh, there it is. Welcome back, authentic sound. It's the same, yeah. I left because it was so slow. Hello, Costas. Oh, you, you mean the video with Emily? Yeah, I'm happy with that. So, let's certainly go watch the... Uh, oh, what happened? It's okay, it's just slow. Okay. So, that's actually the head of my technical department here. No, it's, I'm not. <laughs> it's the head of everything. Everything is okay, it's showing here. So, wow, perfect. Hmm. So, let me watch this on the watch page. Then I'm really confident that's okay. Anya's actually working on the edit. No, no, on the. What are you working on? On the. On the chat schedule. The oh, schedule, yes. schedule, schedule, the timing of the. Um, there it is, my live stream here. Okay, it's okay. Okay. It's okay. So she's working on the schedule and the timing, the back planning, so to say, for the partitas. Are we going to do some uh, live streams actually with her about this? Because um, we kind of have had to invent everything for this to be launched. And the partitas will be launched on vinyl disc. So there will be an expensive production for us. But I want to have it like that. I don't want to compromise on sound and also create a, a box with probably five finals, two CDs, maybe three, and depending on how we divide the partitas, might be a good idea to just have two partitas per CD. I don't know. I hate switching from one to uh, CD to another, if not necessary. Um, but for the vinyl discs, we probably will have to do that. So I'm still figuring out how long the partitas are. I can show you in a minute the edits that are finished if we finish this one. But the, um, the production of the vinyl is really expensive, uh, but will be beautiful and will be something tangible, more, I think, than a CD. We will produce also a book, a real book, with a very long article written by Joris Potvlieger on Bach and the Klavekort, which contains a lot of new information, in fact. And I will write an article. I have to write an article still that's not finished about um let me check if this is okay because it should be in there okay yeah the quality was really bad but it's because of uh, the wi-fi here so i have to still write an article on my experiences with the park partitas which is more difficult than just talking about it sitting behind the keys of my clavichord but i i want to give a picture of what it is to play the partitas on clavichord and why I choose that instrument, obviously, because I play the clavichord. So for me, it's no question about it. It's you, you, if you've seen my last video on uh, CPE Bach and also on, on the partitas or the Walt and Clavier, what works best on clavichord, you will know that what my take and my vision is. But anyway, to stand out a little bit in today's maybe um, I would say overproduction but there is so much that's going on on social media and we are used a little bit to kind of swiping through everything also CDs and I, I know so many remarkable and ex incredibly good recordings from colleagues that just I used as a business card and that I didn't want with the partitas going analog was partly escaping also the quote-unquote ordinary so this final box with the booklet with the cds with the download code with the white gloves actually the artwork that's been constructed um, uh, made now by uh by by shelby lewis which is a wonderful remarkable trumpet player and remarkable person because he's also a professional photographer and architect in fact and he's going to design in fact the first and uh, maybe i hope and i, I think just uh, the, the the later releases from authentic sound as well um to make them very recognizable and with beautiful artwork that he's going to make himself so it's it's escaping a little bit from the ordinary but also the an ordinary in the sense that what 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 today everybody's most people are doing and I've produced CDs as well an organ CD in 2008 
that I really gave my best shot. And I remember still it was sent to 200 uh, reviewers, which is normal if you publish with an, with, an, with, an, uh, with a label. And I got very, very good reviews and still sales are not taking off. And it has to do with, the, with the, I think, partly with the CD. It's not something you can, it's not something you own really. And the, the vinyl box, you will own that if you buy that. That's, that's something that I'm sure of. And secondly, the analog recording, recording it on, on analog tape is something remarkable. And the vinyl disc is probably the best compromise for the tape, but the tape is of course unbeatable. It does something with the sound, it does something with the, uh, with the, with the stereo image in fact as well. So it's, it's hard to understand how, how, how a tape recorder and, and certainly those big old studio devices and ours has been refurbished, which is necessary because all capacitors 20, 25 years needs to be replaced, need to be replaced. And also we, the tape recorder got some new studio heads and it's, it's aligned. Everything is aligned actually with the same equipment as studio used in the eighties, but listening to if you compare then a digital recording and then I'm closing this introduction, give, just welcoming you and, and give people time to tune in. Um, and then we start with the editing. But if you compare a digital recording in high resolution, uh, which we have of course made many of, and that with the tape recorder is strange because on paper, a digital recording should win on every field. It has a much larger dynamic range. It has higher frequencies. Um, it has some downfalls as well. A, a tape, of course, is has a reaction speed which is Im immediate. So you feel that a, a, a digital converter needs to think, but that's really microscopic small. But in one way or another, that tape recorder is binding together the sound in a way that the digital recording is just not capable of. And we've tried everything with benchmarks, converters, which is the, the top of the line. I mean, you can, you, you can opt for another brand, a brand, brand um, uh, device, another brand, but uh, you get another sound. But those converters that we use are really top notch. There's no discussion about that. So the sound is crisp and it's clear and it's without noise adding to that. Um, hello, I shot first. Nice. You have you, so we're going to work in a minute. I'm just rambling a little bit about the recordings here. Um, but then going to tape, of course the tape recording is adding a little bit of noise. It's not much, but it is noticeable. And But the sound is, the, the treble and the bass are coming together in a way that's hard to understand why the digital, the digital medium is not capable of. And, um, once that sound hit the tape, then going to digital like we're doing now, it's not really of a big deal. I know we would have loved to go AAA, triple A, so analog recording, analog editing and analog uh, production and vinyl. And then the CDs would be AAD like in the good old days, but that's actually not possible. I was talking in the last uh, live stream edit why not you, you should double you have to double up everything two tape recorders double triple the the amount of tape which would be not only very 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 expensive but also time consuming in a way that's that's maybe not possible and i would have had to record it differently so knowing that for instance just editing a car in the in the in, in the echo so to say is not possible analog it's almost not possible I know in principle it should, it should be, but anyway, that are we going to do? And all to say that I just work on the back planning of to launch that and where we are, we're planning to launch this in October. <laughs> uh, we went to February now because uh, we will need that time. Only 14 weeks to produce a vinyl disc. Can you imagine that they will be produced in Haarlem? We will have in the Netherlands, we will have um, a visit. We paid a visit there. We have a video of 20 minutes is almost ready. So it will be uploaded later this month. Really, you should watch that because that's 
mind-blowing to be there. They produce 50,000 vinyl discs a day now. It's the old Sony plant and it's actually much older than that, but Sony produced their millions of discs in their in the high days of the uh, of the vinyl discs so anyway i'm going i actually i don't have to reduce myself too much but let's do it and then go to samplitude which you're watching now okay there it is and if there are new uh, viewers that i miss because now i'm missing the chat uh, I will ha I will look from time to time if I miss something and otherwise I never will um, say something. Now it's concentration. Okay, there we go. Just transporting the microphone a little bit. I'm wearing my headphones because otherwise you would hear the sound two times. So here we have the jig and the first thing I have to do is really rough material. Um, you will notice that I sometimes just kept on playing like for instance here pro probably then there was a repetition there was something else and we have clear sections probably those section on the end were something I thought I was missing or just to be sure having everything first thing of course what we need to do is invent make an inventory of what we have so that's first And by the way, I'm just noting that down. That's part one. If you hear something or you just like something or just don't like something, leave it just in the chat. I will read it and it's interesting to read it afterwards as well. Okay, and what are we going? That's just a repetition. I will note it. Okay. Okay, then it's page turn. So that is actually part two. That drill. Okay. Back the beginning, number already can hear that the accentuation is more pronounced and I, I remember that I was looking for the edge which you, which you can hear the trills because the trills are not as not crisp as I wanted but typically in such a recording I don't mind because I'm looking for that zenith point for that horizontal line it's better if they do but 
the energy given here but the accents of the and and, and is difficult to combine sometimes with the with the trill so let's you see there is i noticed that and so i made a correction so it's part one beginning just noting down drill and increase of tempo and now I don't know if I can make 10 I don't think so uh, maybe zero no oh, 10 is possible but how not to lose <laughs> one then anyway not important That was me back in January. Very happy that it was over. It, it was really something playing all those partitas, recording them all. Okay, what do we have now? We have a problem, and which is a positive problem. We have 10 sections, and I'm trying again to access here to chat, which would be nice if I would have access to that. I would keep an eye on that from time to time because that's the es essence of live stream and now I'm not playing so I have time to read your questions or just your remarks or whatever and I hope that it's working now go to the live control room it should be working then we go to the live control room there we are there is a chat and if i click on pop out oh there it is nice i shot first i often wondered why you don't see a lot of sheet music on digital tablets and performances of course paper stress is less likely to run out of battery to have a problem yeah i personally i don't like it it's the light that's that's tiring my eyes but that's me i have so sensitive eyes so if i watch too long on a tablet i have here a big screen a big monitor I can show you if you want it's actually overkill for what i need i'll show you my monitor but it's uh, it's it's actually a professional um a photographer monitor sorry for the shakes it's 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 not small it's not big it's right but i need that resolution for my eyes and on a tablet i would get very tired um and also page turning that's that's something that that's really hard to do you have of course um, you have of course programs that you can just touch and the page is turned but i like paper okay here's yeah now we have the positive problem of 10 sections that we have to check and that is a marker for one i'm bringing that to the beginning again so the inventory sounds we have let's see part one two three four the four takes of the first of the exposition and we have actually five takes for the uh, second part great so typically what i would do is start with the last one and see how that sounds most of the times i'm looking 
for YouTube, it's very simple. I just take most of the time the last take because I'm looking for that point where I'm satisfied. So sometimes it's the middle section, but most of the times I use the last part. Let's see which that red, which part it is. Boop, 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 boop. It's number four. Yeah, number four. And then number three is okay. Now let's start with number three and see how that sounds. That's not correct. Oh no, it's not correct. That's number five. Is number three okay? Maybe I no. I just leave it like that because this is the beginning. Hello, Roger. See if I answer that. Don't both in there at hundred. Yeah, of course. So, doctors say the light is bad for your eyes. I, I, of a template, obviously, and it's causing a lot of vision problems in this younger generation. That's an interesting idea. If that's really true, I have to think about it because, yeah, you know, we have we have two daughters, one of twelve and one of six. <laughs> You know what happens? We try to frame it a little bit. I mean, to to, to frame it a little bit to the use of uh, electronic devices, but it's it's hard to do. Thanks for suggesting that. I, I can feel it on my eyes. It's 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 sometimes sometimes burning, but I have a very strange kind of retina. It's it's so hypersensitive. That's not always a pleasure to have. like this accentuation constantly you have this middle part and the accents are popping out I like the energy, it's almost on the edge. Let's listen to the second, uh, to the repeat.
So that's a lot of energy actually. That's a lot of energy. And I was wondering just what the tempo was doing. I don't mind if the tempo goes a little bit up here because it's a jig, but it should not be too much. Let's listen. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It might be a little bit faster than the first takes. And let's listen now to them. So how it started, because it was not the first piece I recorded. I was that night, I can look it up. We had done already the air and the Sarabona that evening. The 12th of February, 2017. So that's important to know, because if you just start fresh cold, so to say, then your focus is not, is, is not there where it should be. Sometimes it is. It, 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 yeah, it, it, it depends on the preparation. But for these sessions, no, it just... So we listen and see how this first take is going. Probably a little bit less energy. I don't know what you guys think about this. This is a little bit more. Uh, if you would add an age to that, I mean, this would be a somewhat older guy, but with a good spirit. I don't. I mean, it's just just a little bit more um, mature. Uh, the other takes were a little bit maybe more dynamic. But I don't know what you guys think, but I like this actually also. This is going to be difficult. So let's continue here. <laughs> I like this very much, this first take. So Roger writes, I have never felt before how modern this jiggy sounds, more like some 20th century music than anything 19th century. We are, in fact, we forget that Bach is a really progressive uh, composer. It's, it's not for nothing that his sons have made, created the whole 18th century. I mean, no Mozart or Beethoven without Emmanuel Bach. And perhaps no Emmanuel Bach without Friedemann Bach, and Bach, and perhaps, of course, certainly no, no second generation Bach without Father Bach. I mean, this is incredible music, and and yeah, on the edge of what, I don't. It would be it would be nice to once traveled in time and see how the reaction was of that music, and probably only few people knew that and couldn't could play that. We should not forget this was for that time. If you compare this music to for instance, Handel's suites, which are also, I, I would love to do some Handel. 
um, you have some great sweets and 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 also and, and for that time progressive i mean not that progressive is a quality uh, label and that time it was but technically Bach is so much more demanding and in fact if you go travel a little bit in time further from Bach to the beginning of Mozart of Haydn that's much more simpler that's simply not the technique that the Bach tradition players had they, of course Mozart and Haydn and, and certainly Beethoven which of course are just very soon very 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 fast from the moment that they just quote unquote rediscovered Bach but mind-blowing and these are very difficult to play as well so let's first check the tempo here it's exactly the same I don't know what's, how this is with you, but I feel much more tension here with this little bit more. It's 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 near the hundred percent, but perhaps the other ones are over the hundred percent. So let's compare. So we are now here. So we make just a cut. I think we can do that safely. So this is one, two, and these are the one two of the second parts and then start the other ones okay so if we just do it like this we won't mix things up first thing to do is let's compare what the tempo is doing because i can imagine that the the last takes are a little bit because of the focus and of the energy a little bit faster but we'll find out uh, soon enough so that's the beginning if i would like if i would play it together it would sound like this that's that and it's actually not so far off so it makes it hard let's see it starts now at about 45 seconds and the last chord here ends at four minutes and here at four minutes five seconds four minutes four seconds four minutes five is one second off okay good job Wim, because now we have to more difficulties to choose okay so but it's important to know because now we know that these things are very well ex exchangeable if we would just it's always interesting to do if you record if you're a musician yourself and you record just check the length the length will tell you how well the piece was in your fingers so let's 
And now, what's the difference? It is nothing. It's scary to me, even. I mean, how is that possible? It's even... It's no, no difference. Not a hundredth of a second, second. Yeah, maybe one hundredth. But that's everything. It's 227, 227. I think I'm a kind of a robot. And how is that with the second part? Because if that's also so stable, then that... If you would have no sound <laughs> to judge which, and you have to judge the five minutes which take you have to uh, choose, then, and you have the possibility to check the length of, of a repeat, and that's the same, then choose for the one that's the closest. Here we have a deviation, you see. But that's, I mean, this is a living creature that puts playing. It's one second, great. But that's one second. So what I'm going to do now, I like this very much. That's just my first impression. And this one I liked, but maybe it was a little bit over the top. So I shot first, no harsher critic of a performer than the performer. I erase more than I create. Also for recording, because you know, if you are recording just to check yourself, that's okay. Then you should erase and maybe not ju just listen as, as a kind of... Um, yeah, it, it's a mirror for you as a musician. But if you make a recording to use, on, like I'm doing on YouTube, or just for now, for, for, for a disc, for CD, you should try to use what you have, because often your first reaction might be a little bit too hard. Um, and make something out of that. I, I like the idea of just the, the limitation. I mean, it's almost no possibility that I'm going to re-record any part. So I'm crossing my fingers for this. This will work out fine. But the Sarabanda was just one bar that I said, well, two times the same issue that happens. And I didn't notice because Sarabanda is a very emotional piece. And I was happy once it hits, then you have to leave it because you cannot repeat that twice in one day but i would not be able to re-record that now because the clavichord has no other pitch everything is different so i but i used i like the kind of limitation to work with with what you have let's listen here to the last section better even let's just put them underneath each other that we can really compare what I'm listening now for is these 16 notes on on the end they they may they may sound kind of um, would, would I say virtuosic but in a good way they they can sound difficult I mean that's complicated music there but they shouldn't sound hasty and just checking for that they should, they should sound controlled and and here is a, it's, it's one mistake but it's very well articulated less than now it's much less I mean, of course, we are looking now on a microscopic small level, but and and maybe no, no. I think you will not. You would notice. You would notice as a listener. Maybe not to a degree that it's something that I should have replaced, but the first takes are better. Listen to the control of the sixteenth note is on the edge, and if you. I've played this piece once, you will know that there's a very complicated structure because you have a middle voice that's going in between everything. But the 16th notes should be sound very controlled, which is on a clavichord, very hard to do here. 
I know the bass. And now listen to this. It's almost as good, but just 1% less. Here. Ba -da 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 -bum. Because the keys, are, the keys are falling in your fingers here. You, you feel the tangents. And that's important because the tangents need to hit the string, right? And just not accident accidentally, you have to prepare everything as a clavichord. But here you feel that there's just a little bit less control. Let's play it again. This is on the edge. So we're using that, no discussion anymore. That's for part one and two, and they're almost equal. So this is a rather easy choice. It, you need to listen just a lot to your own recordings, I think. I learned so much from doing these YouTube recordings. Imagine this, I have made almost 130 recordings, many of, of those over 20 minutes. Um, and I have to judge each time very fast, very quickly. So I have to prepare also that I can do use the recording and you learn so much I actually actually every musician should have a youtube channel with regular uploads who's saying that okay now it's we have five takes for the second part you know what we're going to do just check a little bit very brutal in a way the first with the last if that matches I'm okay my laptop is so here's the end of that section it's on 1045 1040, that's okay that's okay that's okay so other check we must do before we can have a definitive go for this for these first takes is a tempo. That's okay, definitely okay. So I've played this five times. They must have must have had a reason because I was not repeating myself if I didn't feel that there was some progress to be made. But you see here. It's just a safety, I think, because I, re I restarted there, that I remember. Um, here is just recording of three takes after each other and here too. Let's just start here. The tuning is a little bit off of the lower note.
are some mistakes here, but I don't mind. This is a, this is a rather good take. Also, here the 16 notes are very controlled, so it's difficult in the first part. It's getting more difficult in the second part. We get to that in a second. Just see how it ended. <laughs> happy <laughs> then I can hear it but mm, there are some things let's just let's just continue now Let's just listen to everything here. So two more takes to go.
So what happens here is there's not concentration, it's just a physical reaction. So the, the clever chord requires these notes controlled to the 16th notes. And what you hear is that there's nothing you can do if it doesn't work. It's it's by it's kind of decompression, I don't know if that's correct, but from the from the wrist from the previous parts, and I still can feel that, then it's just starting to shake a little bit. But you, you can't you can't you can't relax in a way that on an organ or an harpsichord you just go to the bottom of the keys and you stay there just a microscopic small second long and then it's enough to re to relax there's no such thing you can do in a clavichord it's constant control and that's what you hear here so once you are just 99.9% .9 on that level it's not working. It needs to be 100% in this cheek. So, and probably I gave up in during the during the stage. So this is not something we're going to use. There's some issues here but this is much better this is much better so that we're going to save here as a backup file and now editing the complete partitas with uh, all repetitions i don't know if i keep that i like it kind of like it for the sarabanda sometimes it's too long that's my feel but i like the proportions uh, so i will choose another one this is one we keep Let's go back to the second one here. here for if there was a car passing <laughs> again hello Alex nice to have you <laughs> Thank you. 
but apart from the last from the ending i like this part so i think we're going to go for that so those are the backup parts Let's of course use another ending because of the uh, i made a repetition of course after this now the work starts that was the fun part selecting <laughs> no it's interesting to read the chat uh, so i shot first writes that we chatting a little bit about Mozart and, and Beethoven now while doing the edit of Bach but that's that's really it's important Bach was so influential in that time and that's something that actually when I was in conservatory in Amsterdam one hand I was playing the organ other in, in, in let's say in, in, before noon I was heading to the Wausekerk in Amsterdam it's a beautiful Müller organ playing a trio sonata, and in the afternoon I played the Mozart sonata on piano in the piano class. And the separated worlds. And I remember one day, very early, I think it was 19 or something, I said, well, it's only six years between the death of Bach and the birth of Mozart. I mean, it sounds stupid, but that's how separated in the 90s, but still today, those two worlds are. But the influence from Bach on the later 18th century is so immense i mean not back on itself the tradition is just going ongoing and emmanuel bach of course so it's interesting to read so yeah now work starts i told you in the beginning it will be a long session that's something we can miss pop there we go what do we find of this trail? That's an okay trail. Let's see here. We have made this back up here what's that that's the end oh here it is that's that's actually a very good trill so should we replace an okay trill with a good one it's not a live concert so i the thing is, we often today still are living in the kind of, I'm feeling, in, in the 80s it was very popular to be, to have natural recordings that sound a little bit distant, it's the Deutsche Grammophon uh, type of recording, which actually was, was spread at more than we think. It's interesting also for me now to have this vinyl disc, disc collection, and if you are interested in starting that, I mean, people are just trying their collections on street, you can literally for nothing you can build wonderful collections and of course with all the great recordings so and i learned also to what what the recording technique was and, and and the 70s had often very close miking coming from the jazz recording that kind kind of thing the 80s were a little bit more neutral and so that live thing everything should sound as it was played which never was the case of course but they told their their public we have that drill and we have this. The only thing is the drill has a tempo. And when you, I don't know with you, but if I do re-recordings of such small passages, it's so hard. I shouldn't do that actually. I should go back a few bars, but this is of course the beginning because hitting exactly the right tempo then, uh, that's difficult. But we try, we try. We see that it's a little bit faster. And it's for me, this is a fun part actually, because you never know what the outcome is. Yeah, sometimes you know, but it's hard to predict. Let's switch on sound. We hear the, we hear the bridge. Um, 
Yeah, Liam, he writes, I like the first film, music shouldn't be perfect. Yeah, that's true. But this is a recording. It's like a photograph with, with, if you have, I mean, you take it in the dark room or in, or in digitally in Lightroom or Photoshop and you, of course, create a kind of, it's, it's not a concert. So if you if you would have these discs or CDs and you would play it over and over again, I mean, I I think it's a service to the potential listener to present them with the best thrill possible. And if I would have known that it was a live recording, I would have had set my margin a little bit wider. But I knew I would be able to edit, so I didn't mind. Uh, if a drill didn't succeed a hundred percent or just 99 I've made the mistake because I knew I could edit it so it's a different mindset playing a concert or playing a, a recording that you know you don't have the possibilities to edit or just analog editing or the digital editing possibilities so we just check Not bad. It's still, I don't like it. I'm using Samplitude, uh, Alex. That's kind of Pro Tools, but Pro Tools is a more popular version. Let's just have a little bit more. That the tempo is much better. So we just check for the crossing that's okay obviously a mistake we don't worry about this because I wouldn't I would bet some money that I have it right here Maybe this is not something we should have copied but who knows Let's check and let's check that check that thrill as well. It's okay. Delete the markers and then we got something like this, maybe a little bit earlier. So we, as we said a few moments ago, if you do kind of this, you can, of course, of course, you can drag the what's following a little bit to the front or going back. I mean, adjusting uh, the remaining part to the to the part you, you the, the part that is replacing this. But the closer the tempo is, the, the more steady it is. It's the better because you kind of hear it always. <laughs> So Ro Roger writing that you know the Walser Kerk, you have le had lessons with uh, Leonard. Wow! So Leonard was was uh, the organist of, of the Walser Kerk, Walser Church, before Jacques Penotmes. I think Leonard went to the Nieuwe Kerk, the new church, and Penotmes was replacing him. So I was there in 1990 until 1997. The pencil of minus under the petals. You quoting, of course. Uh, I think Leonard. 
<laughs> I dropped it to miss don't worry to get <laughs> at the end that was yeah he could make so much jokes I mean let's focus here <laughs> slip yeah 1970s before the new academy you studied then in, in, in the conservatory or you just had lessons from Leonard because it's interesting you see these live streams we get to know each other a little bit better nice for me did I make the same mistake? Of course not. You see, this chord is a little bit. I mean, we're speaking here in, in not even seconds. It's it's forty-five seconds, fifty-five. If I open this, we are fifty. This is one second. This is nice. Also that drill in the in the And a drill like this you cannot predict on the clavichord. I can tell you that. Uh, it, you have to play it forte, you have to play it in a kind of speed that has to end at the right time. Some some days of course some days you wake up and everything works. But this was not such a day and I, I could smell it in the previous uh, edit session as well it doesn't mean anything just you have to work a little bit harder but drills like this that that's what makes me happy so alex you're writing about the base of the instrument so th th I'm, I'm glad you like it What's also important for a clavichord and certainly for this kind of music, I mean this big music, that's the treble. And the treble is very difficult to move. I mean, it's also the outcome is very unpredictable for a builder. But you need kind of possibility in, in the upper parts of the instrument. Let's see if we can replace that. Don't need this. We need to press on the T. And then remove. Oh, wait a second. Um, we should move this part like that. See how that sounds. I like that here at the end. This is team, the thumb, the, the long enough. It closes so nice down. So thank you, Roger, for your compliment. It was not swirling concert. Yeah, no, it was before. I, I wonder if there was a concert. Well, probably there was, but yeah, the swirling concertory was was in the eighties, I think, and now it's Amsterdam Conservatorium. 
they change that again. Okay, there we go for the repetition. So these kind of slips, misers, really because I, I concentrate on the accentuation 100% and it's also giving energetic impulse on the key, uh, which on the concert I would not do the same way. I mean, about the same, but not exactly the same. That's also a thing for the record for recording. You need like a photograph you need to add some contrast you need to if you're standing out in the field and you see the sunshine our eyes have a dynamic range i think of 20 stops that's photography i mean you, you can double up 20 times from dark to light and you experience you smell everything you hear everything and the experience is different you make a photograph then first you have to wait for the nice light because you certainly uh, evening light would be the best and and then you have to enhance some things because to give a little bit of that capture a little bit of that impression and but if you do that on a clavichord on any instrument actually but the clavichord you will pay it immediately then sometimes the attack is not a hundred percent and if the, it is jumping all the time and then of course you have something like that so hello marcus i'm using sampli to it which is kind of pro tools and there's no reason why I used it. Yeah, there is a reason because my first CD I recorded is in, back in 2000. Never released, was on piano. It's now on YouTube actually. Wouldn't be accepted in my Chopin MP at the time. Um, the man who was editing that used Samplitude. And so I kept using that. Let's see what was wrong. Chop, chop, chop. Probably that's okay here. And I use only such a small portion of that. Hello, Eric. Eric, I don't know if I pronounce your name well. Welcome here to the channel. It's not something we do every day, editing. Maybe more in the future, and certainly not such, a, such long sessions, but it's because the partitas are almost finished. So welcome here. I kind of hate myself hearing to, to breathe, but it's some days it's nothing. Some days there is, and uh, some people like that. I, I don't know. It's hard to avoid because you have to, of course, amplify this clavichord so much. No okay, trail. There's a nice building of, of, uh, of tension. Sometimes you don't know, I don't know if it's wrong or not. My guess is that is the wrong note. This one. So Marcus is from Brazil. Nice to know. Thank you for sharing that. That's actually one thing I have to learn and I'm learning to remember names because 
you are so kind reaching out to me so much when uploading a video and I like replying and I like reading that but I have to remember and create an image from you who you are but there's so many people now so I have to practice that I must remember you and of course Marcus is a long time I think you are quite some time on authentic sound right but didn't know you from Brazil wonder if it that if I'm going to remember that in the future check that yeah that's a, that's wrong could have been written like that but it isn't so which one we have to this one we have to adjust five thousands of a second Yeah, on your right, we have a lot of people from Brazil. It's a big country, but I believe that in Brazil there is a lot of activity also in music going on, isn't it? My classical music. I rem I think, isn't it so that Anima Eterna with Josephine Imersil went to Brazil? Some Quite some big concerts with Beethoven. I think it was Beethoven. And I think it was Brazil. Back to Bach. this 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 chip this is actually the clavichord so that's that's a mechanical thing it slips it's just there's so much tension on the key and so the key is just held by a little pin at the end which it's as of course a kind of m possibility to move because if it would if it would not have that possibility, it would just be stuck and you couldn't play. But it, 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 it is moving a little bit, but not too much, because if it would move too much, you would have a different tone when going down and when going up, because the tension would go like this up front of the key and the tangent would go that way, you see. So that's... Uh, the half chord builders are the best keyboard makers ever, because they need to... that needs to be so precise, but here is... It. This slip is because in the back the little pin slips a little bit too much and so what I'm going to do with that I don't like that Let's see if we can edit that and often you will see that um, where is that here it is that it's all it's, it's present everywhere at the same place because the tension and the I mean, the way of playing there is the same. But sometimes a little bit less. And we see what this is. You see, it's the same. We compare. It's a little bit less here. Let's see what happens if we just replace it like that. Okay. I think we should do a little bit more. the best that's it yeah that's the instrument nothing to do about that mm -hmm. 
Thank you, Wim, for continuing. But sometimes I forget to continue. It's a page turn here, so I just stop and I turn the page, and then you have to find my the right uh, of a, a working uh, uh, bridge and working timing. But now I can just take this. And there you go. stopped and replaced the trill. Let's do that. Is this okay? Check in the score. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's check that with another. Mm -hmm. Probably it is, but I'm doubting now. Let's just check that here. Sound as a C sharp D tone. This sounds stupid, but that's the one we need, and that's also one thing you often we'll see that if you make a mistake of course that's memorized by your motoric feeling and memory and you will often do the same thing next time or i do okay now we have to find where this is like that a little bit <laughs> Bach in 21st century version. The problem here I have is just not enough space at the beginning. I cannot. You see, yeah, this happens. So we have to manually check. That's the entrance of the second voice. Okay, there we have it. And now we should find this C sharp C natural thing. That's it. So we just replace it like this, see what happens. noise that I hear try it like this that's better this is an okay trill but I don't like it don't like the sound. Just see how this drill is here. That's better. It's not so much difference. Yeah, the attack is, is better. Listen. It's, it's 5% better. That's enough to do the effort. Getting a little tired now, I must say. But 
I just want to finish it. So we continue. So just, just let check, 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 check. I hear some noises, the kids are here and Anya's somewhere in the house. She's not at her desk anymore. Yes, sir. What shall we do? Just replace this part. So this is... Can have a little bit more influence. Let's see what it sounds like. with this. And you know also what the, what the thing is, we did the selection first. So at the beginning, we took our time for that. And you need to. But once, you, then you see, you have the overview of everything. Once that is done, I dive into the details and I just keep finding details as long as I think that there are details to be found but i don't have to worry about the the big picture anymore that's that selection is done so <laughs> hello john you're practicing yeah you should no no just kidding by the way, how is that string on your clavichord? Because you wrote that the string was broken. Very strange. So what do you think of this drill? It's okay. I thought I heard something. I heard something. Here. I think that's... That's not okay. So this is actually a take that I was not planning to use, but it happens to fit. So why not? And those details, if they can be replaced, it's not. If it fits, it fits. It's no, it's no big deal. You don't hear that in, in the overview. That's wrong as well. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's very hot. Yes. Anya brought me some tea. Strong coffee would be better. Um, let's see how this is in. So again, listen to what's going wrong. Probably the need, there's a need for 16th notes here. Let's check. adjust the place it's not the same yeah you see mm -hmm. 
Yeah, there they are. That's okay. We press T, T, and then here adjust a little bit and listen to the results. So John writes, you hear the clunk. What do you, what is, what's that, the clunk? Strong coffee of a Belgian beer, Anya asks. I thought you'd never ask. The beer is not for today, I think. So typically, I I won't. I normally don't. I wouldn't watch the screen when I'm listening. If this fits, certainly it an edit like here. And if I don't hear anything, then it's okay. Difficult edit. I think it's okay. And one more thing. Just um, try giving it a little bit more. But it's better. So one little note is a terrible piece, this cheek. Played on the concert, and you know what I mean. And again on clavichord, you don't have the freedom of just resting and of going in the keys. You have to make tone, or, or even if it goes so quick. Although this cheek, I would love, in 10 years I will record this if I'm still okay then re-record that because it's so fascinating I, you have to choose a, a one performance one take and like this but i can imagine a slower version as well of course i would give less technical difficulties and it would make sense in that regard nice nice it should be articulated of course let's see if that's this we have to try. So, okay, the tangent bone bounce. And I hate myself for doing this. This drill is not written by Bach. It, it can work, but it has no function. And then if the drill, of course, is not 100%, then why doing that? <laughs> it's in the heat of the moment, I guess. I think I have added another one here. Yeah, see? It's better. Better trail. No, 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 no. The other way around. This, like that. Like this. Okay, listen. So okay, can't just check for a minute. Okay, that's the that's the final take. I no, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Yeah, but because I seem to play this like there is an ending and no repetition anymore, and that. 
might be something I deliberately did. I'm, I'm making it a little bit. Ah, that's the end. I mean, there's no possibility to... But that's problem for, for later. So let's check this again. This certainly is a mistake. A mistake is just a slip. Mistake is a big part. Then we check here. What's the difficulty of that chord then? First fix this one. That's not a mistake, it's just an attack. Let's see how this sounds. So, if that's correct, then... No, 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 no. Yeah, wait. Yeah, it's still... I might have just switched the uh, last tag with this one, but that's not a big deal. I could, of course, turn that around. The question I have now for myself, you see, that's... If I would like to have a repetition here. Maybe here not, because this deep E is so much announcing the end. It's five minutes and a little bit. Maybe it's enough. I will, I will stop here. I think because um, and and have it reviewed in the in the overall partita because that's what will happen now. I'll have to glue all parts together. I show you. I, I will re uh, render render this or export this. And you see, here are all the edits, but actually they're double. So BWV 825 and then 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And I've doubled everything because I, I render that in high resolution, which is obviously going to serve for the vinyl production. And I render it in CD quality, which is not going to serve for the CD because the, the these files need to be mastered and then from those high resolution, resolution files, we'll, we, we, we will be downgrading to a CD, or to two or three CDs, but these files are for my patrons. On patreon.com there is a link in the description box if you would like to check it out. It's just a site where people like John, for instance, um, are supporting the things we're doing and get certain rewards. And all my patrons, no matter what tier level, get all the CD renderings not a masters but just the rough material which is almost the same because we're not going to touch a lot of the uh, complete partita so if you go in there you actually can download the whole partitas on cd so i guess that was it for tonight you know what's the, what's showing me this score now let's check if it's in picture Here I am. Goldberg variations. And that's of course one of the future projects. I have something very weird in my mind to do. That's the Goldberg variations. Of course it's for two manual keyboards. Maybe for a harpsichord. But that's something that we have to find out. 
because the term uh, cembalo and clavecin was actually meaning keyboard in those days. Um, but you need two manual keyboard for this. You, Benjamin Steins, a very great colleague of mine, he recorded that on one manual clavichord and it's, it's really difficult to do. But I would like to play it on a two manual clavichord, on a two manual harpsichord, and maybe um, I would like to play it on two keyboards also with my friend Miklos Spani, the great CPE Bach player. I believe Reinberger made a transcription for two keyboards, keeping the five octaves. And then I would like to play it on my new pianoforte in the Czerny edition. I would make a great box, I believe. The Goldberg variations are difficult, yeah. But once you've finished the clavier of one, you, you can play them, of course, but it's, it's all difficult music. For standards of those days, incredibly difficult. So we don't need the headphones anymore. Um, anyway, if there is something on your mind, we can chat a little bit. I'm really happy and relieved that all the partitas are done. Um, I don't know if I would... No, I, I cannot just switch from window here in this uh, OBS window. Because otherwise I would um, give you a taste of all the partitas. But that's difficult, maybe for another time. So what's coming up that's the 29th of august of course if you're still here that's the concert at 8 pm i will make an event live so you can set a reminder for that of course if you would be able to come here live would be wonderful but uh, like john and like uh, uh like mike for instance also and we had marcus roger if you're still here <laughs> that's really a long way to go for a concert of eight bach palette and fugues in a 16th century chapel but that will be live streamed at eight o'clock i really would love to have a lot of people watch that it would be great um, and then there is a recording of the e flat minor on next tuesday sunday there is a master class on some maybe one perhaps some Bach pieces and then we're moving to september and the channel is going to change again. I mean, I'm just looking for a format that's working. I like the summer months a lot, but there are very, very many videos to make, which is not a problem. It's the editing. It's making the thumbnails, it's making the descriptions, it's making um, the links in the videos. That's the thing. I, if we would could, we'd be, if we could outsource that, it would be great once ever. But for now, I think I have to decrease a little bit that production it's also just a test for the youtube algorithm see what it does we will have three or four videos a week maybe more live streams we're going to upgrade our live camera system um, which would be great also facilitating the live streams making quality quality better and i probably could reuse some of the footage that i'm making in the longer videos for uh, uh, singular videos that as a, as a separate video and I will be making a video just to ask you how you would see the channel. I would love to have also on my channel uh, kind of um, maybe sharing with you some of the recordings I like. I have a second channel, but I will not find time to do that. Vinyl only. I have such a huge vinyl collection now. Again, if, if you would start out with collecting vinyls, vinyl discs, people are just giving them away. It's certainly classical music and you in no time you uh you would be you would build up a collection so mike you're you're writing yes please for the for the uh personal the recordings i like if that's a yes that would be a, a good thing for me so that second channel i will i don't have time this final only i don't think even you find it on youtube it has four or five recordings um and the reason I, do, I was doing that is because I don't have time to listen to my own collection and I would force myself to listen then. But if I would do it on my own channel here and not commenting, but just sharing my thoughts about it after the recording is finished, might be a good idea. Um, I was thinking also having once every two weeks 
a kind of live stream with you or a video I don't know yet but that you can send me in some pieces you're playing some problems and I'll just address that I mean I can help you sometimes more by giving um, just a f just a small thought so just a small remark then thing so the interaction that's something I would like to increase and the time that would come free i would love to to start a podcast a podcast is something i really would love to do i like the the feel of the microphone there at the hoxton chapel the camera a little bit further away i have to find still i think it's going better and better and better but i have to find my own tempo of speaking in english and improve that but while having a microphone just in front of me it feels safe and a podcast of course is getting rid of the video obviously it's also a lean back medium with another public and i could have some material covered in longer uh, episodes 30 40 50 minutes you know i like to ramble a lot but there we could go really in depth and build separate a little bit from youtube so mixing those both a little bit so i shot i was right i was buying used vinyl a lot i would walk out record shop with my arm full of records for what one new city yeah it's true i mean if you would looking for uh, pop music some i don't know what the name of the group is anya do you know that of the, the, the pop music that goes so expensive what's the uh, um, it's not the Beatles it's it's no. if Anya doesn't know I mean that's that you're paying a lot for but uh, and one way or another I think vinyl will survive by the will 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 stay if you if you walk to that record industry a uh, pressing plant that's amazing and, and uh, again we will show you that I, I just have to find time to translate it otherwise it's just it's just a footage I, I can give it you as it is but the new vinyl the new productions I think that's what's going to make that market sustainable maybe not the used ones because indeed there are, you, you can buy them uh, very cheap which is exciting and rare if you love vinyl okay So Mike is, we are moving house 600 kilometers away after 25 years, two days before the concert. So it really don't bother to come. It would be too cumbersome to come. Just click on the live stream and share that. I will have an event created, share that on YouTube. Uh, you, so you can go to the channel. You will see it one week in advance. And on Facebook, I will share that as well. So share it as much as you can. Okay. I think that was a long session. I'm really happy that everything is done almost. I mean, the, the rough editing is done. Now it's gluing to, together all the partitas, seeing how long it is. Talking to my chief member of staff over there, if it's not too long for the vinyls. Yeah. And then then, then proceed to the, uh, to the production. You will hear a lot more on the production of the vinyls discs uh, while the coming months have to build up that a little bit yeah i shot first it's it's a tangible it's a tangible object it's it's yours and like like the box we're going to create i think shelby will do a beautiful job and we will cover him on the on the channel as well when it's time and you know what i like on a vinyl recording there's two more things the sound is really amazing uh that's for me out of question but it's turning it's a turning device you can look at it it's stupid but it wins from a from a, a cd or a converter that's not showing interaction and the last thing is you the the stylus is going down and you sit in your sofa and there is nothing you can do but listen you cannot switch you cannot zap it's you the slowing down feature I, I like that a lot okay guys i thank you very much for staying because some of you have stayed here with me from the beginning which is great i hope you like this session we will do some more live edits edits not so 
ex, uh, extensive as this one, but for the YouTube recordings, um, some of you and many actually have asked me to share some of that because yeah, it might, might be something to learn also for me to interact with you. It's always nice. And don't forget to watch the interview with Emily and also go to her channel. Uh, that's something I will do more in the future. And if you have channels for me to, to collaborate with, leave them there because I will look them up. Okay, thanks everybody. And see you soon again. Bye.